Hello everyone, and welcome to our newest edition in the Pixel Biology Sanctuary Zoo's Ice Ice Outpost. And I hope you guys have your earmuffs and your mittens ready because this is going to be a very chilly adventure into the new Planet Zoo Arctic DLC, which is going to include polar bears. We're going to have herds of reindeer running by. Our mountains will be covered with dull sheep, and in the forest will roam wild packs of arctic wolves at least in the near future it turns out when you start a new franchise zoo my friends your ambitions need to start a little smaller and a little more humble so let me introduce all of you to the tiny little beginnings of a town an outpost in all intentions uh that is known as shepherd's nook and this is going to be one of several different villages that we are actually going to build in the wide mountain ranges and open tundra of ice ice outpost not that you could see that just yet uh it turns out that mountains and gigantic oceans where we will have little fishing villages with fishing docks and boats and polar bears going by cost a little bit of money and mountains are more expensive than I expected. So the town is going to need to come together and thrive, gathering together their little shepherds flocks of doll sheep and uh, goats, as you guys will see soon. And they're going to need to help their town really build up and really thrive in order to restore the mountainsides. But we'll get into all of that in just a moment and the fun little story we have behind Ice Ice Outpost and Shepherd Snook. First off, let's go ahead and show you how all of this was created with a quick little speed build.
And there we go! So that is the beginning of Ice Ice Outpost, my friends, and I am so excited to share it with all of you because now you have seen its very, very inception, and together we will be here as we begin to have herds of migratory reindeer come through, as snow leopards find unexpected mountain peaks to be able to curl up in, and hopefully as we have an ocean full of polar bears in the future, which would be amazing. Uh, so we're gonna watch this place come together and rise up like so many of our other franchise challenges. And I'm super excited. I have huge dreams for this place. Dreams of being able to have tons and tons of mountain ranges where the only way for people to travel through the other side is either through a gigantic Jeep tour that I want to basically go, wow, look at how bright it is up in the tundra. But we're gonna have a gigantic Jeep tour that will take people from village to village, AKA little outpost to little outpost. And we'll also have underground tunnels where people can go underground and through mountains if they want to traverse our mountain ranges that are not yet, they have not yet risen. Maybe we need to make a really cool little ice temple and like add special animals to our, our beautiful outpost in order to make the mountains rise back up. Um, but I did my best with the mountain over here and I'm hoping we can actually put a snow leopard over here for people to look at and then eventually have like wild little herds of doll sheep that could come over in this spot. So I'm looking forward to that. I think that the Jeep tour will eventually come down through this little archway that we made and hopefully lead to what I really am dreaming about, gigantic migratory herds of reindeer. Reindeer actually can travel in migratory herds of up to half a million, 500,000. So I wanna have this huge migratory wild herd that the guests can mostly see if they use the Jeep tours or if they walk on the underground tunnels that will pop up into villages kind of in the center of the reindeer herd. I'm super excited for all of this, but I did forget a couple things when we dove into this new franchise mode. One, franchise mode means that we have limited funds. In fact, let's go ahead and pause before we lose all of our funds just trying to survive out here on the edge of the tundra. And two, franchise mode means that we do not yet have access to the fancy, pansy, beautiful Arctic theme. So the Arctic theme is still beyond us, but not for long. We're actually going to try unlocking the scenery with dock worker Chris. And that's actually something that we're going to have very different. He's not mechanic Chris, he's dock worker Chris. One of the very fun and exciting little roleplay immersion things that we're going to be doing with Ice Ice Outpost is that these are going to be villages and towns that you guys will help me build. They will eventually have their own themes. We're going to try to build it so that there'll be like a cute little town center. We're going to have a whole bunch of houses built around here. And those houses will help us to generate income by actually housing some of these exhibit animals. So even though we'll say like, oh, you know, that's where you can go and buy your yarn, uh, we'll actually have that house secretly hide a exhibit that guests can come and see. And so the donation money we get from that, uh, like we'll, we'll shove in a Titan beetle, for instance, in the yarn shop. 
a beautiful golden titan beetle that attracts lots of donations. And then we'll say that that's actually the income from the yarn shop. So I love doing little role play esque twist like that. We are also going to be raising more than just the four DLC animals that came in the Arctic pack. I mentioned snow leopards, they're in the base game. We'll also have, we will also hopefully have entire mountains where we're going to carve out a valley inside of the mountain that guests can walk up through the underground tunnels to see and they'll be able to see the wild arctic wolf packs they'll be able to see the unexpected mountains full of hot springs where the japanese macaques hide i'm going to even have a mountain that will have a panda because pandas actually put up with some of this pretty well so it's going to be a mishmash of all sorts of arctic animals but it's also going to be really fun hopefully a really creative little role play way that not many people build the zoo that as our other franchise zoo goes our beautiful zoodesia zoo which will hopefully last through all of the ages. We're going to evolve it organically as the needs of franchise mode and the challenges of franchise mode dictate. So we're going to go ahead and begin with one of the new animals actually right over here in what is going to be Rachel's sheep pen. So this is actually going to be Rachel's, uh, the, the sheep, sheep of, or like the sheep, let's see, let's see, sheep pen of uh, you can't use like the apostrophe, so I have to be really careful. Rachel's sheep pen. We'll just go with that. And this is actually located in Shepherd's Nook. There we go. But yeah, each each exhibit, each theme, each building will have its own little uh, its own little theme and its own little mm, story behind it. So instead of this being an info center, this is actually Rachel's Sheep Shack, where you can come and find out really great information and guides, and even a few samples of the wool from her sheep. We'll say she weaves them into umbrella-looking things, but that's pretty cool. Uh, but we have Rachel's Sheep Shack right over here, a snowman I built that I actually really love. I can't wait until we have the African theme so that I can unlock the sticks for his arms. Um, we have so many beautiful themes to explore. But for the little, the little village, this is going to be known as Shepherd's Nook, this little section back here. And we're going to try to really make our money off of donations from doll sheep. So let me go ahead and add those guys in. I already snagged a couple off of the animal market. We also have security goats from our stream zoo that we are Nintendo Zoo stream zoo that we might move in. These are Springbrook who are albino, but we might actually move these guys in and call them goats. So I'm kind of looking at that and I'm tempted to grab a couple of our, <laughs> I'm tempted to grab a couple of our albino animals, uh, our albino zebra and call them like snow donkeys. Like whatever we need to do in order to get the money rolling in here, we're gonna do. But on a more realistic level, we do have three doll sheep. We have one male doll sheep right over here, and then we have two females. And these guys actually like to be in groups of three to 40. So we could add in a whole bunch more females. You wanna have one male and like up to 39 females, or you could have bachelor groups of males or females. They will be a little competitive. I'm kind of wondering if that would be okay. And I'm really interested to see what kind of information we will learn about them as we start researching them. So let's go ahead and add in Rachel's very first sheep because I'm super excited about this. Also, you can see there are indeed polar bears and much more on the market right now that we will definitely be getting into. I'm so excited for Ice Ice Outpost, you guys. I love the challenge of having, of having franchise mode. It is definitely a big challenge. All right, can we move this one? What, why can I not move you guys? I should be able to move you guys. Hello, hello. Let's try this again. Pardon? I'm ready to put my sheep out now. Move. There we go. All right. So we have one sheep scheduled. And then we've got... Let's go ahead. We're going to grab this one. That's two sheep. I'm so excited. I can't wait to research these sheep. Oh, we need a vet in order to do research. Oh, gosh. I am going to have to add in another building then. All right. Come on. There we go. Oh, here they come, you guys! The very first sheep of the village! We're gonna need to add in donation boxes so we can make money off them. Oh, and look! 
This is actually Snow Artist Rowan, who has come in and helped us with the sheep. And check out this sheep. Oh my gosh, it's so much prettier than I thought it would be. Wow, because you think, oh, sheep, but they really, oh, look at them. Gosh, I would love to see this one just traversing all over a mountain. I can't wait to have the wild herds going. This is the foundation of the wild herds that we will have of our wonderful doll sheep, you guys. That is extremely exciting. Look, and people have started to arrive. Yes. Okay, this is, this is really exciting. We've already started to get quite a bit going on over here. All right, and we need to take good care of these sheep. So let's actually see what we have got for the doll sheep first off with species. Um, let's see, doll sheep, doll sheep, there we go. We're gonna need to give them some shelter for sure. It is very chilly here. I can't wait to give them like a nicer shelter than this too. <laughs> but we need to do some research of the Arctic pack. Oh, I love building a fresh zoo with you guys. I love building all of our zoos to be completely honest. But it is just so exciting to have the challenge. There we go. We'll give them a nice little spot to rest. Let's give them a little food trough. Um, Cause I think, yeah, we should probably have a good spot for them to come and eat. There we go. And then we'll see what they need. And then a water pipe for their water. Cause I think that that is probably easier than having to put a whole bunch of, uh, we'll do a water pipe for their water. Ooh, and then we'll make it look like it's a little ice sculpture. Cause there is actually ice and snow Whoops, I think that all is part of the wooden platform now, which was not my plan. <laughs> oh, look at them! And look at our big boy! Both the males and the females have horns. I did a bunch of research about them when I learned that we would have them in the new DLC. Wow! And do you imagine? From the horns of these little ones will come the beginning foundations of our zoo. And look at this guy. He's already super happy. I'm going to need names, you guys. So do please give me your name suggestions. I do want to name the females after, like, yarn. I think I'll name her yarn. And we're going to name her thread. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and name him, like, quilt, maybe? <laughs> you know what? Quilt, quill, quilt. I like it. That'll do, that'll do. And then let's get some, oh, look at all these people. They're here, they need to donate. They're pretty happy, all right. Uh, let's see, let's see. We need to get some like money from them, ASAP then. And we need to start getting, where's our donation benches? Donation benches, there we go. All right. Hello everyone, yes, very, very happy to see that you like the sheep. Do be sure to drop your cash in here if you would like some samples of the wool. Uh, and then we're going to need to get some research done on them and the new Arctic pack, which is very exciting. And we're going to need to add in more animals for sure. So more people will start coming and visiting. Hopefully, I really want to get the snow leopard over here. So I'm hoping we can get like the little village built over here. I have no idea what we're going to add in. We might even be able to get a little polar bear over here. I'm thinking we can get an early, early polar bear next time is going to be my next goal to guide people over to what will eventually become a fishing village, which will be very exciting. All right, but first off, let's go ahead and, oh yeah, donations are coming in. Huzzah! We are going to want to get some research done. So let's grab doc worker Chris and get him going on the Arctic theme. And then we're going to need some research on our sheep, which means I'm going to need to hire a new veterinarian. And you guys may notice the names are a little different with our immersive ice ice outpost. Instead of a caretaker, we have snow artist Rowan. My work isn't pushing me enough. Oh, just wait, Rowan. Just wait. We'll have litter here in no time. But snow artist Rowan is here. And then we have also got shepherd instead of keeper. Miss Moss, who is in charge of taking care of all of the animals over here, and will hopefully bring them some food soon. Uh, I may need to separate the food from there. There we go. No, 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 yeah, actually the food's fine. All right, there we go. But we have Keeper Miss Moss. We have also got Doc Worker Chris, who will hopefully be doing his research over at the workshop soon. 
And he, oh, and we also have, yeah, Shepherd Rachel, who you guys have met, our one vendor. And the fun thing about all of those guys is that we've actually given them names from our patrons. So we're going to have a living village based off of our patrons, which I'm so excited about. And the village is going to be pretty fun because everything in Shepherd's Nook has been given a theme name instead of its normal name. This isn't a keeper hut. This is the grocery store. This can still be a mechanic shop, that's fine. Then we have the trade center, which is totally fine. And then we've also got the library. So instead of being a staff room, it is a library and will hopefully be a place where we can come on over and we can do learning resources because that sounds perfect. While resting in the staff room, staff will learn more about their job, bringing their training date forward, which I think sounds fantastic. Also, look, the sun is setting already. Oh, this is so fun. But all right, guys, so this is the beginning of Shepherd's Nook, and this is the beginning of Ice Ice Outpost, and the beginning of what will hopefully become a mountain range filled with little hidden snow temples that will have unexpected animals, perhaps pangolin hiding underground, where we can have little underground exhibits that people can admire as they're going through the tunnels that I hope to fill with crystals. We're going to have a little fishing village, and who knows what kind of animals will show up at the docks as a result and hopefully we'll be able to have a beautiful world where we can admire the aurora borealis over the beautiful snowy terrain very soon but all right so quilt thread and yarn have come to join us oh my gosh wow we're gonna need to make it night for longer so that we have a chance to possibly see the aurora borealis and this is the humble beginning, but let's go ahead and see if we can get our hands on perhaps a polar bear or maybe even some Arctic wolves and a little wolf mountain next. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for the flourishing tiny little outpost of Shepherd's Nook. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.